Now I want to find the derivative of an inverse function. We start with the function f that's differentiable on an open interval with its inverse, let's call it g. And as long as this expression doesn't equal zero, then g is differentiable, and we can find the derivative of its inverse by taking 1 divided by the derivative of the initial function at g of x. Notice here that f prime L of all this can equal 0. Now, given f of x equal x plus 1 squared, we want to find the derivative of its inverse at x equal 9. So, because x equal 9, the first thing we need to do is work this backwards because this is actually a y value. So we have 9 equals x plus 1 squared. We take the square root of both sides, we get 3 equals x plus 1. Now there's another part of this, but if you look at our curve, x plus 1 squared, we're only going to look at the right half, because otherwise the function would not be 1 to 1 and we would not have an inverse. So in that case, x equals 2. x equals 2 is the number we're going to use as we apply the theorem. That's going to be our g of x. So, to find this, we take g prime of x is equal to 1 over the derivative, let's take the derivative of our f of x function, 2 times x plus 1, or 2x plus 2. So we have 2x plus 2 in here. Replace x with our 2. We have 1 over 2 times 2 plus 2, so that's 1 over 4 plus 2 is 1 over 6. So that's the answer we get applying the theorem. However, let's do it another way. Let's instead take our original function and solve for the inverse. So we have y equals x plus 1 squared. Remember the first step is to solve for x. So we have y to the 1 half equals x plus 1. Let's put x on this side, switch sides, and solve for x. y to the 1 half minus 1. So y, in this case, equals x to the 1 half minus 1 which is the equation that we get for its inverse. And we'll look at the graph in just a moment. So this is our y equals, or our f inverse equation. Now, let's take the derivative of this, so y prime would equal 1 half x to the negative 1 half, or if we write it in the more convenient form, 1 over 2 times the square root of x. Now originally we started with x equal 9, so we take 1 over 2 times the square root of 9, which is 1 over 2 times 3, which is 1 over 6. And this we found the derivative directly after we found the inverse, and these two are in fact the same. Now the power of this equation is that if you have a function that you are unable to find the inverse for, you can still find the derivative by working it backwards, find the x value that goes with this, take the derivative of the initial function, and then you can find the derivative. Also, please notice the graph is not exactly symmetric to the line y equals x, but that's because one space on the x-axis corresponds to a unit of 1, whereas one space on the y-axis corresponds to two units.